morning guys happy wednesday and happy valentine's day today is the day to celebrate love y'all so that's what we're doing i'm gonna start by showing a little love to my hair <laughs> which i have finally started taking care of again here's how she's looking she just needs a little bit of moisture today I'm also wearing my Love Stack. This is Rose Quartz, Carnelian, and Moss Agate. It helps to attract genuine connections and love into your life, not just romantic, but also platonic. And it also helps to reignite passion into existing relationships and of course, help promote self-love and self-confidence. So my Love Stack is available on my website, TonyDaily.com. I'm trying to attract all of that, all of that into my life, girl. I've pretty much spent the morning scrolling, um, scrolling social media, and Valentine's Day is always <laughs> a very funny day to scroll to me. It's, it usually shows one of two things. It shows like, obviously the romantic couples and what they're all getting into. And then of course it shows the Galentine's Day, like friends groups, and then the people who are single and not happy and <laughs> um, angry with the world today. For me, honestly, Valentine's Day was never like sort of a big deal um, throughout my life. I guess the time that Valentine's Day meant the most to me was when I was in grade school, particularly kindergarten and you would bring like, you know, Valentine's Day cards and trade. Like I remember, that's like a very vivid core memory for me, collecting and like picking out, remember the big booklets and you sort of, they were sort of like punch cutouts, big booklets and selecting exactly the right one for exactly the right classmate. Like that is the era in my life when Valentine's Day <laughs> meant the most to me, but you know, like high school, when I was dating like my high school boyfriends, as a young adult with boyfriends or just casually dating, or even when I was married, um, Valentine's Day was never like a big deal, so to say. So for that reason, being single, I think this is like the fifth Valentine's Day I've been single. Um, I don't feel bad about it like some singles do on social media, or at least some singles portray that they do on social media um yeah just because it like i said valentine's has never been like a, an overly big deal for me plus this is not just the fifth valentine's day of me being single it's also the fifth valentine's day of me not being cheated on so i mean pros right speaking of love guys marley visited me in a dream yeah she visited me last night and like she wasn't old you guys <laughs> like she wasn't a puppy i obviously knew it was her she came to see me in my house like i was sitting on my couch in my living room um so it was a very realistic dream like i knew exactly where i was and just like she normally does she ran through the kitchen leaped into the living room jumped on the chair jumped on the couch which she's not supposed to but like she was so she was so happy to see me. She was wagging her tail. She was jumping so high and she wasn't old. She wasn't a puppy, but she was young again, you know, and and limber and like jumping high like she used to. She wasn't groomed either, which was surprising to me because I like her groomed, but you know, it was just nice to see her. Her hair was really long. <laughs> Um, but she looked cute and she looked happy, so I feel good about that. All right, moisturize. Let's just put this back and I'm going to go run some errands. Um, and then I'll come back home and, um, yeah, I want to bake a cake and cook dinner for the girls and show love to my household. So we're going to do that as well. All right, let's bake a cake y'all. A Valentine's Day cake. This is a rainbow sprinkle or funfetti. Funfetti, that's what Situation calls it. And then I picked up some French vanilla icing for it. 
so the girls can have a valentine's day cake i bought this cake tin uh no where did i buy this i can't remember either amazon or michael's but the thing about having a heart-shaped cake tin is like it's for any occasion valentine's day heart birthday cake I only bake cakes for people I love. Christmas, I love Jesus. So like heart shape always, always works. Guess what time it is. So hair at my half has offered to give me a little quick <laughs> a little quick Valentine's Day braid up because I have a Hold date. On, because I never look at the camera. So oh yeah, right there. Yeah, I always look up here and yeah. I always look like crazy. Super, yeah, crazy. So yeah, I'm getting a quick Valentine's Day braid up because I have a date later. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this show, the but Traders. it's The Traders, sorry. It's so good. It's a reality show. Um I don't even know how to describe it. There's like a cash prize at the end and basically you have to you're like undercover you're like there's like moles in the game that are trying not to be discovered you know what i mean it's, it's um, a murder mystery yeah murder mystery thank you yeah and like yeah kind of like clue right yeah and then people so there's three traitors amongst them yeah um but everybody has to act like every, and everybody else is a faithful right so the traitors have to act like faithfuls but in the dead of night they'll murder somebody and whoever like the faithfuls really are they have to figure out who yeah um, who are the traitors who the traitors or murderers are so it's so good i didn't think i would like it but i'm actually really into it so we're gonna watch that while i get a quick braid up while my cake is in the oven okay multitasking my hair is done. I look like a people again. I know I've been looking real rough the last few vlogs, but you know, I was early into my grieving process, so I really did not have the energy or wherewithal to do anything to myself, but yeah, half hooked me up. She made sure that I looked pretty on Valentine's Day. So dessert, here's my Funfetti cake. It's perfectly golden brown. I'm about to ice it. So dessert's done, gonna get dinner done, and then get myself done, ready for my date. Here it is, my beautiful Valentine's Day cake. You guys, this icing is so good, oh my God. All right, let's get ready for our movie dates. I was looking in my closet and I don't really have, like I don't have any red clothes, like nice clothes, like not t-shirts, but like I don't have anything red to wear. So I think maybe I'll just do a red lip instead to be festive. But first I did stop by my PO box earlier when I was out um, running errands and I believe they're sympathy cards. So I'm gonna open them up. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being so thoughtful. I didn't have it in me to open them earlier or read my comments earlier. But now that I'm starting to feel better, I think maybe I can finally tackle the comments on that video. I don't know. There's a lot. There's like over a thousand. So bear with me. But yeah, I did get a sympathy card. This is from um, Sharissa. Thank you so much. It's funny because she wrote me a really nice message, but it's funny because she said, I hope she pays you a visit. And I literally started this video telling you guys that she paid me a visit. So see, I knew I'm not ready yet. I'm getting teary eyed. And then this one, this one is from, oh, Lanny, Lanny Walks. She's my favorite. Aww. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. And look how cute they are, too. So sweet. So, so sweet. I, I don't deserve you guys, really. So with that being said, I'm going to attempt to beat my face. I haven't put makeup on since... God, I don't know how long it's been. It's been a minute though. So I'm gonna get myself together. First, let me tie down my hair because um, I did my edges. Well, hereby have to do my edges. She does my edges better than me, you know, she's the professional. So I'm trying to keep them this way and not mess them up. So I'm just gonna tie them down before I get started on my makeup. I just realized I got one more package that I think is another sympathy package. Initially, because I get packages for support assistant hauls, so that's what I thought it was at first, but now looking at it, I'm pretty sure it's a sympathy one. So I'll just open it with you guys. Yeah, it is, it is a sympathy gift. Um you will never know unconditional love until you have a dog. That's a fact. So this gift is from Kamira, and she actually has a blog called Imperfect life.com it's imper with p-u-r-r -R. and it's a blog about finding joy and healing after pet loss through inspiration and art what a necessary topic thank you so much um for sending this she sent me this frame and it has the rainbow bridge poem if you guys are familiar with it i always see this at like vets offices and stuff like that it's the author is unknown but it's really a beautiful poem and then, oh, and then she sent me a blanket. It's this huge blanket. It says, you are my favorite hello and my hardest goodbye. And it has paw prints all over it. Mm, I'm gonna start crying. Oh. Ah, uh, you guys are just too thoughtful for me. I can't deal. Thank you, Kamira. Uh, that is just so sweet and thoughtful. So thank you so much. I probably should not have opened it right before I decided to do my makeup, but here we are. <laughs> um, yeah, she has a blog and I think Instagram and YouTube with pet loss content. So I'll link her down below. The blanket is perfect because you guys know that this chair, the infamous chair where Marley always sat behind me, uh, whenever I was recording and making content. So I think the blanket is very fitting to put on her chair. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, let me get some water and get my makeup done. I'm thinking of wearing all black. I've got these faux leather joggers from Fashion Nova. And then just like a plain sort of, you know, long sleeve top. With some sneakers and... A red lip i don't know what do you think i have never tried these joggers on though let me try them on for earrings i'm going for these guys i just got them i want you to get into the packaging like really get into everything okay the ribbon the box the bag the dust bag and of course, the earrings. Okay, you see all this, y'all? These are dupes. <laughs> these are dupes. They look super authentic, including the packaging. I got these from DH Gate. I told you guys, I think I'm a DH Gate girl now. I know a lot of y'all do not like replicas. So if you don't, I'm sorry, but there's no way I was spending $800 on costume jewelry. The real ones are not real gold. They're not even plated. Their costume jewelry, $800? Absolutely not. These look super, <laughs> like I can't get over. I literally can't get over it. So I'm gonna wear these tonight. And honestly, these are weighted. Like they're the same weight as the earrings. Like I've felt the earrings in store before. It's crazy. I know DH Gate is iffy. Like sometimes you never know what you're gonna get, but so far I've had success with them. So I'm gonna link this particular seller down below just in case. Um, you've been looking at them and weren't sure. All right, final look. Ooh, <laughs> she cute. Hair is perfect. Shout out to hair by half. Let's make sure I'm blended into the hairline. 
I went with a red lip. I might change it. It's cliche, but it's cute. I might change it only because like, what if I want to smooch, you know? Anyways, final look. And these are how the earrings look on. You can see the weight. Like they're the same weight as the actual originals. So yeah, I'm going to put my pandas on and then like a fuzzy teddy jacket. And that's it. Maybe a red purse just to tie in with my lip. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Millennial heart. Gen Z heart. Alpha heart. I think. <laughs> Peace. Bye-bye.